Welcome to Habitat Maker. This is a new and improved version of my old Habitat Maker. Um, it, it basically functions the same way with a few key differences. Uh, the first thing you do is simply pick a habitat that uh, you'd like to build. And you can build uh, a desert habitat, the Arctic tundra, rainforest, savanna, or a mountain habitat. Um, I'll just let's go with the let's go with the desert here in North America. So I click the North American continent. And now I can choose from two different habitats. I can choose to create a typical printable habitat, or I can choose a lost dimension habitat, which is kind of neat because then you can combine different parts of different animals to make your own um, really odd or interesting, whichever way you choose to look at it, animal. Um, let's start off with creating a printable habitat, and then I'll come back to showing you the lost dimension habitat. So I create printable habitat and here you see I have a sort of a cartoonish look. You, you see the desert and you can start adding different um, uh, different you know plants and animals uh, typical of a, de of a desert ecosystem. So I click a cactus and I can drag and drop this around. I can change the size of it which is an improvement over the last version which you couldn't you couldn't change the size. I can flip it. I can rotate it. I can rotate it 360 degrees. Um, or I can simply remove it. So I have a cactus there. Um, I can stick a turkey vulture. Again, it's a cartoonish version. And I'm going to shrink him a little bit. He seems a little big in comparison to the cactus. I can add uh, some other uh, typical desert animals. Uh, desert tortoise. Um, every once in a while, even deserts have trees. I can put a tree in there. Um, and some cactus grass. Um, and... As you see, I can shrink, I can, you know, increase the size or shrink the size of all of these things to make it look as uh, realistic as possible. Here I'll put a, a Gila monster also. And with some of these animals, I can actually get them to do things. Um, this, if I click on the desert tortoise, I can get him to go inside his shell. I can have him uh, move forward or move backward. Just little basic animations. Nothing too exciting. Um, and anyway, so when I'm done with this, I can click the done button and then I can actually write about my habitat. Now I can, I should say type about my habitat and here I can say, uh, this is a desert ecosystem. Um, here you can see a turkey vulture, Gila monster and various plants. So I can write whatever I want here. Um, and then I can print it out, and you get a you get a printout of the of the image I created plus my description. Now, if I go to create new habitat, I'll start all over again. Let's go to um, let's 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 try the uh, the savanna here, and let's go to lost dimension habitat. This is what kids really enjoy doing is they can create um, their own unique life form made up of the different parts of different animals. So let's say here I want to do uh, the head of a rhino. Um, I want the body to be that of a, um, let's call it, all right, we might as well, let's do a giraffe. That'll make it very interesting. Um, I can have arms or wings. Let's put the, let's do it the wings of uh, a secretary bird. Um, I can have the legs, so that'd be interesting, of an ostrich. And then I can make the tail of a lion. Uh, yeah, let's do a lion. Okay, so now I'm going to create my animal. Click the create animal button and I just click on each one of these parts. Here's my rhino head and just like the other things I can increase or decrease the size. Um, I'm going to put him a little bit taller because he's got the body of a giraffe. Here comes my body of the giraffe. I'm gonna put the, I click on uh, the head to put the head um, sort of on top of the body. Um, I also have the wings of a secretary bird. I can stick the wings right there. Um, let's make this a little bigger and I'll put it right there. I have, I'm actually going to probably have to move all this up a little bit. Let's bring this back to the forefront. I have the legs of an ostrich. So here's one. Let's do one more leg. And I also have a tail of a lion. So I can bring my tail here. Now look, I have to actually flip this. I have to flip this and I can make it a little bit bigger. It's kind of a small tail. Flip it again. And there you go. I have my 
interesting animal here, which is part rhino, part giraffe, and I have to give it a creative name, maybe a rhino giraffe, something like that. And there you have it. I've created my own unique animal in the lost dimension. I do the same thing when I'm done. I click done and print the habitat. I probably, if I was, if I was spending all the time um, necessary to do this, I'd probably have a much longer description. And um, there you have it. So this will be something really fun for kids to do. Not only does it teach them about real ecosystems and the animals and plants within those ecosystems, but now it allows them to create uh, bigger and better habitats and even to create their own animals within those habitats.